congratulations. We may not have all the trophies, we may not have all the wins, we may not have all the tradition, but we got toughness and we got grit in this organization. Well, Give yourself a hand. That's great. Yeah. And the special thing about that is we're just building. Seniors, thank you. Thank you for what you did for this program. Everybody get my hand. Yeah. And underclassmen, you get back in January, I'll gas no brakes, man. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to win a championship. So get ready. Seniors, thank you very much. Get my hand. Yes, that's right. It's that time of year again. Hello and welcome to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. This is our 2018 preseason edition. As the Gamecocks prepare for their season opener against Coastal Carolina on September 1st. Coach, no team in the country in Power 5 Conference football had multiple win improvements over the last two seasons. And that got your team to 9-4 and four last season with a win over Michigan in the Outback Bowl. Uh, a lot of good things have happened, but what's your thoughts and feel for the signs you've seen on whether this team's ready to take it to the next level or not? Well, I think that we've made a lot of progress, and that's the one thing that you see with our football team. Our, our best players are good people. Uh, when you talk in terms of T.J. Brunson and Dennis Wallman and Jake Bailey, and I hate to me even mention them because we've got a lot of good young men on our football team, and uh, the work ethic's been good. The culture of our program's in a really good place right here. I think these guys understand what it takes to be good. I, I told them in a meeting in training camp, it's not going to be about ability. It's going to be about the details. It's about, it's about the things that, that don't take ability, the focus and the discipline this team's going to have to play, uh, play with to be successful. You being concerned about ability was not a story that you had early on in your no, career here. No. You've improved that a lot. Coach, some changes you also made in the offseason is you elevated wide receiver coach Brian McClendon to offensive coordinator and brought in a veteran Dan Werner in quarterback coach. How's that transition gone to whether you're getting what you want to look like and the production in offense? How's that transition? Well, it's been an a, a easy transition because neither guys have, have an ego, and that's what it takes – you got to have guys put your ego on the shelf and let's do what's best for the South Carolina football offense. And, and that's what they've done. Dan's brought some really good ideas about some things he's done before, but Brian's done a fantastic job with our players uh, and, and getting the, the ball in the playmakers' hands. And that's what I've seen in camp. You know, Debo Samuels had a bunch of touches, Brian Edwards, Shy Smith, our running backs, I mean, uh, KC Crosby. So we've done a really good job of utilizing our playmakers. We've done a really good job of dictating the tempo of the game. Uh, which is what, something that you've got to do, in my opinion, nowadays against some of the teams we're going to play against defensively, which are really hard to run the ball against. And I think tempo is going to help us. Coach, uh, midway through camp or so, it's hard to tell. I'm sure many people are contributing. But if you could pick a Terminex Pest player of the preseason camp or on offense or defense, who would that be right now? You know what, I think from a consistency standpoint on offense, I'd say Sedaris Hutcherson. He's a guy that's probably was our most valuable offensive lineman coming out of spring, and he's had a fantastic fall camp. He's really played well, consistently well all the time. And defensively, I'll go with T.J. Brunson. He's been a guy that week in, week out, has brought his hard hat to work. Uh, he goes after it. He's poised to have a great year. Well, we're glad you're with us on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. When we come back, we'll ask Coach about some keys to a successful season and check on the health of the Gamecock football team. That's coming up next. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. summer sales event and now is the best time to buy you ready for this junior yeah i think i can handle it no pressure that's just my favorite boat boom <laughs> make summer go right with ford america's best selling brand and get our best deal of the summer zero percent financing for 60 months on f-150 
During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get zero for 60 plus 2,800 cash back on select F-150s at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies. We protect them. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back. We're into preseason camp with the Gamecocks. And Coach, even with the changes in the rules regarding rest and days off, you can't have a preseason camp without being really physical. How's the health of your football team on our Palmetto Health Injury Report? How are the guys doing? Really pretty well at this point. Unfortunately, two major injuries. It's Tyreek Johnson, a young defensive lineman for us, who's going to be a fantastic football player who tore his labrum coming out of high school, and we delayed his enrollment, and he comes in and had a really good spring for us and in a non-contact situation, tore his ACL. But he's going to be fine. He, he's going to be a really good player. And Caleb Kinlaw is a, a senior for us, really disappointed for Caleb. was a core special teams guy for us last year, and we're going to miss him uh, tore his ACL in another non-contact situation. So really frustrated for those two guys. But that's really, from a long-term standpoint, that's really it. Chavez Dawkins has got a high ankle, hopefully to get him back for the first game. We hope it will all be good up to September first and beyond. Coach, now our Toyota keys to the season get this football team ready. When I was talking to you in the offseason, I thought it was really interested how detailed of meetings you have with players about how candid you are about what they need to do to improve and how they can help the football team otherwise. You got through all those meetings, now you're into preseason camp. Talk to us a little bit about those conversations overall that you have what your goals are, a couple of keys that we've got, we've got to have for a successful season. Well, everybody's got a role within the organization. If you don't like your role, do something about it. And our guys understand that. We're going to play the best players. And if you're a guy that we depend on that can help us win football games, you'll play. If you're the best of your position, you'll start. And our guys understand that. Uh, but I really think we've got to bridge the young guys on both lines of scrimmage to where they're game ready to play. That's the biggest concern that I have of on the offense and defensive line of bringing these guys along and getting them game ready for September 1st. In total numbers, Coach, or yeah, surely you have some players that are ready, just not in total numbers on just both Just total sides. numbers. I mean, I feel really good about our first groups that we're going to put out there. Those are experienced, good football players. But, and I think we've got some talent, but I, well, they haven't played in front of 80,000 people yet. 
Big difference. <laughs> when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp, I'll take you into a film session with Coach, and I'll ask him about the operations facility being built here at the University of South Carolina. That's up next. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s, like Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue, or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football in your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 National Champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Welcome back and welcome into the film session with Coach Will Muschamp where Coach gives us his analysis on Gamecock football. And Coach, we got the Florida Gators up first. Well, this is a, a power read play and, and really what we talk in terms of this is we're reading the defensive end. If this defensive end closes like he does, we're going to hand the ball and get the ball in the perimeter. If this defensive end were to run up the field, then Jake could be in a situation of a pull situation and run the ball inside as we're blocking this as a normal gap scheme power play. Uh, the, the key critical part here is the number one is the, the read of the end. The end is obviously closed and Jake's making the decision to get the ball in the perimeter and then block the alley defender. Uh, Florida's playing a two high quarters coverage. So now their run force guys coming from about 15 to 18 yards deep. And, and to get the ball in a guy like AJ's hands as much as we can in space is obviously going to be beneficial for us. AJ ran for 136 yards on 22 carries against the Gators. That was a good one there. As you see here, it's, it's a, you know, we're just getting our eyes right there as far as trying to see the end. Jake's going to ride, ride the play here 
and get the ball on the perimeter. A really nice job. Don't really need to do much in the, in the alley as far as just shield the defender. And then right now we're running on a safety from, from 15, 18 yards deep and make a guy miss in the open field, you create an explosive run. Here's a situation against Florida as a typical RPO. So we're looking at a run box here. Obviously we've got five offensive linemen and a tight end. So we got six guys blocking a four down and then they add the extra defender. So they're in a seven man box. That's not the run box we want. So, so pre-snap, Jake sees that and sees he's playing with a middle field safety. And then it's from there it goes to match up. Uh, we're in a situation where we really like shine this game in the slot, uh, put, put some air on the ball and let's let him go get it. And it's a fantastic grab, a one-handed grab against an outstanding defender in Duke Dawson there at the University of Florida. But this is just a, a read of, uh, of Jake pre-snap of seeing right here, we've got seven guys in the box. They've got the extra defender. We're gonna fake the ball here. You can see our line's coming off in a run block situation. Uh, so they're coming off the ball to, to run block. Really nice fake by, by Jake and get the ball elevated against a really good cover guy. About the only place you can complete it. Duke's in good position as a defender right here and, uh, and Shy makes a fantastic play. Boy, what a great thing to do outside the edge of the red zone on first down, take a shot and makes the one-handed catch. Shy had 29 catches for 409 yards and three touchdowns on the season. That's our film session with Coach Muschamp. And Coach, you've got great facilities now, but nothing like you're gonna have in the near future with the operations facility. Uh, I've seen you with hard hat on going through there. Tell us about what you expect. Well, it's, it's, it's awesome. I really appreciate Ken and Cindy Long and, and their generous donation and, and everybody that's donated uh, to this facility. Coach Tanner talks about investing in the student athlete and this is a game changer for us from a standpoint of understanding the investment that we're making in the student athlete. It's, it's changed the game for us in recruiting. Uh, when a recruit and his parents walk on our campus and they see this facility, there's a wow factor involved with it. But Ken and Sydney Long uh, f uh, football operations facility uh, will be as fine a developmental facility as there is in the country. I don't think what people realize is it's not about just watching film or lifting weights. This facility gives you the ability for players to have either more downtime or less time transitioning between facilities throughout, uh, which gives them more rest. Well, I love Green Park Park, but I'm tired of walking to practice every day. So to be able to walk on our two grass practice fields, the best indoor in the country, to have it all there as a one-stop shop for our players is gonna be a huge benefit. We thank the Long family for their longtime contributions to Gamecock football, but certainly for this facility. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. You ready for this, Junior? Yeah, I think I can handle it. No pressure. That's just my favorite boat. Boom. <laughs> Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand, and get our best deal of the summer. 0% financing for 60 months on F-150. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get 0 for 60 plus 2,800 cash back on select F-150s at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, what do you guys want to listen to? Oh, hip hop, reggaeton, no, EDM. EDM. Yeah. What about bubble trance? Shh, bubble what? Shh, bubble trance. It's a thing. Oh. My point is, everyone's got different tastes. That's why Verizon lets you mix and match your family unlimited plans, so everyone gets the plan they want without paying for things they don't. And right now, the whole family can get six months of free Apple Music on Verizon. Oh. So let's play that reggaeton, old school reggaeton, not the new stuff. Get 45 million songs with six months free Apple Music on us, only on Verizon. Switch now and get $300 off our latest phones. I would tell myself, just be where your feet are. Just work on you. And looking back, that one decision gave me the chance to rewrite my story. That moment I decided to go back to school. And now, I help protect some of the world's largest companies from cyber criminals. It still blows my mind. I found more than a job. I found a way to make a difference. Good hard work has earned Noah Campbell the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. 
A member of the baseball team, Campbell is a sophomore biological sciences major with a 3.906 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. From the 21 yard line, Bentley, and John, it is cool! Touchdown, Brian Edwards! Just like that, this game has turned on its head! How about the ball placement here by the quarterback? Jake Bentley and the adjustment on the football by Brian Edwards. I've seen it time and time again with the tape from this kid. He goes up, he high points it, he turns his body back, and he finishes the process of the catch in the end zone. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Brian Edwards, coach, when you go to him, whether it's deep, cross the middle, a one-on-one -on -one play, whatever, he seems to climb the ladder and make the plays. He certainly did against Michigan. He's hard to defend. He's really strong. He's really strong, especially his hands at the top of a catch. Really nice job by Jake. You know, it's a middle field coverage. Really shouldn't take the ball there, but the middle field safe doesn't get where he's supposed to, and we're able to throw it over his head to, to Brian. Really, the ball should have gone backside to the X, but great job by Jake seeing, hey, the guy's not he's going to avoid the middle of the field. That's where we're going to go with the ball. People don't give him enough credit either, and your staff, for that matter, in developing him. But, you know, three games in, he loses Debo Samuel, who's going to get a lot of attention. Yeah. Brian really came up in production and helped us a lot. Uh, Coach, it's only a very short time until the season opener, and I know you don't, you're don't. you concentrating on your Gamecock football team right now, but Coastal Carolina comes to Williams-Brice Stadium for a noon kickoff. They took a little dip a year ago, won three games. What do you know about the Ch Chanteliers? Well, we've we've already game planned for our first three games, and so obviously starting with Coastal, but they, they bring you some option elements on offense, which are always difficult to defend. Uh, defensively, they got a new defensive coordinator, so we need to kind of prepare for a lot of different things. Whether we're going to get three down, four down, a middle field team, a split safety team, we're not really sure. We're going to have to adjust on game day. We have more to come here on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp, but you can't start the season without hearing from My Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call home. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater. Ah, another truckload of Toyotas. What a sight. Yeah, during Toyota's national clearance event, we've got the last of the 2018s. <laughs> and super low APR financing. Maybe that's why they go so fast. Okay, that's got to be a record. Right now, during the National Clearance Event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for just $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 bonus cash. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dies, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 national champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s, like Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers. 
fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. This program is based on a blue collar mentality of effort and toughness and discipline, all right? And there's a guy that's come in here for two years and, and displayed effort and toughness and discipline with a team first mentality and he competes every day. Channel Fair, where you at? Come on up. Congratulations, you're on scholarship. Just days away for the season openers, the 2018 Garnet and Black Gamecocks will hit the field at williams Price Stadium. And Coach, a lot of things to be done between now and then. One of the things I know is very personal to you, I've seen you on the field, is the safety and secondary play. And there's a lot of players in the mix right now. I had a hard time keeping up with names, numbers, who was playing there. How are those guys doing? Steven Montag's had a really good camp. I've been very pleased with Steven, his communication skills, his leadership ability on the back end. Jamias Williams and Nick Harvey are, are both guys that I think have improved through camp. And uh, we need to continue to take some steps forward. JT Ebay from Rice is still a little limited. He had surgery on his hip there in May. Uh, but he's a guy that needs to come on for us. Coach, we probably left 30 points on the field last year and missed field goals for right around 40 yards. And I know that means everything in today's game. How's Parker White doing? How's the rest of the kicking game going? We still that, that competition will go right up to game week between Parker, Shane, and Alex. All three guys are capable, and, and they just got to go make field goals. This football team won nine games a year ago after two years ago, just winning just three. We hope for an improvement. We hope you'll be at williams Bryce Stadium. A couple tickets left for the opener. For Will Muschamp, I'm Todd Ellis. Thanks for joining us. I hope you'll do it throughout the season on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.